What is up, everybody? How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well on this wonderful Wednesday. I am headed into work here, and it's going to be a good day. Today we're going to be talking about habits for success. So this morning I wrote out a long-form blog post. I actually worked on it last week and I put the finishing touches on it today and got that posted of my morning routine. So I was talking to my buddy Ian on the phone, I think it was last week, and he was talking about a person that he follows in the tech world and that person just talked about how they never answer a question directly to individuals. If they get asked a question, they'll create a blog post about it and that way they can quickly share that again without having to retype it and it is producing content. So I was like, huh, that's interesting. So I decided to talk about my morning routine and that's something that I've noticed that successful people do is they have a really solid morning routine. So that's something that I've really tried to get after. So check that out if you're interested in my morning routine, www.jimjessbaker.com, Jim Jess, Jess as in Jessica, baker.com and you can see my morning routine there. So that's pretty exciting. I also posted a little Instagram post about the fact that the average CEO reads 60 books a year. So I'm gonna do another upcoming longer form blog post about the books that I've read in the past year, the past 365 days, I guess, since we got out here to Hawaii. So May, it's May 1st and we moved out here i think may 28th of last year so we've been in hawaii almost a year which is pretty exciting june 1st will be my one year at the church that i'm pastoring at which is also pretty exciting and yeah it's good stuff so it was fun to go back and look through the books that i have read and just really wanting to encourage you guys to read <laughs> it's a it's a really good habit to get into I mentioned in that post earlier that James Clear, who wrote Atomic Habits, I'm pretty sure this was him, he said that basically people are just the synthesis of what they read. So that's good. If you want to be sharing good stuff, you gotta got to read good stuff. And I think it's just such a cool way to basically sit with and glean from and learn from really successful people because you just get all of their knowledge distilled down into something that you can read or listen to pretty easily. And I, yeah, that's just a great way to learn. I really wanna learn from people that have done big things. I wanna do big things in life. And that's something else, I'm not sure if I wrote about this this morning. This morning seems really far away ago. Um, but just talking about the word success and really just growth. I think the word success almost feels like a dirty word as a Christian. Um, you think of success as the person that's in a, in a gray suit in front of their sports car, you know, $100,000 sports car in front of their, their $5 million mansion. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with any of those things per se. I think if it's an idol in your life, it's, a ba it's bad news. But yeah, I don't know. It just seems like the word success is a dirty word in Christianity. And I don't think I'm after success. I'm after growth. I really think that I've realized since having a son that I need to really choose to grow because I can only lead my son where I've gone and I want to lead him into greater things. I really want to set an example for him. I want to give him a foundation for productive living and I want to want to set that example. I want to figure things out so that I can pass them on to him on how to live a fulfilled life and I've you know I've in this process been figuring out a lot of things on on how to just make my day run a lot smoother, which makes me a, a happier person if I have things figured out. Something simple like this. So I set out today that I was going to, after lunch, go up here. I had to clean. I can't get in there until about 3.30. It's 2.37 now. And I, what ends up happening in my mind is if I don't make a decision on something ahead of time, I'll sit and spin out trying to figure out the best thing to do. And a lot of times that means I'm literally just like sitting and thinking what to what to do and so today I think it was either this morning or last night I just intentioned all right Wednesdays I clean out on the west side my favorite beach is out that way probably like five ten minutes down the road and right after lunch I'm just gonna hop out there I'm gonna sit at the beach for a little bit I forgot my chair again dang it and 
jump in the ocean right before I go to work. So just a nice little refreshing treat. I'm actually not gonna get a Sabbath this week, which is my own fault. It's just me not drawing good boundaries. Fri we usually try to observe Sabbath Friday night to Saturday night. So I scheduled a meeting for Friday night and then I scheduled a meeting for Saturday afternoon and then we just put another meeting on our schedule for Saturday night. So that was dumb. Uh, but sometimes you have to make those exceptions because life is life. So I should try to figure out a way to make sure that I'm getting adequate rest this week. And this is part of it. I'm going to go to the beach and sit on the beach and jump in the water and get some intentional rest for a little bit before I go clean a construction office. So yeah, just talking about habits for success and talking about how a lot of times as a Christian that word success seems kind of like a dirty word, but I don't know. I think we need to choose to grow and I think a lot of times in that process of choosing to grow, we find success. I don't even know what other other words to do to use there and I think yeah, I, I've just realized that for me to walk in the fullness of the call that God has on my life, that I have to grow. I really have to choose to grow to operate as a leader in the places that God wants me to lead, in my family, in my church, in our ministry, and, and that requires growing. And I think a lot of times growing comes, you know, a side effect of that is success in other areas, being productive, and leads you to be more successful. So. Yeah, I'm excited about this growing process. I recently started using Google Sheets and Excel a lot more just to plan out, kind of micro plan out your your future. And so the next three months, today something that I did was I have a bunch of speaking gigs coming up uh, and I just wrote them all down because I was starting to be like, ah, I can't really keep this all in my head. So I'm gonna be speaking at a YWAM community night. I'm gonna be leading a longer time of worship at the YWAM base coming up. I'm speaking, I think three times at church in the next three months. And then I'm teaching the book of Revelation in the biblical core course. So that's all coming up in June and July, I think. Maybe that's all June, I don't know. Anyway, so I just had to bust out a Google Sheet and see that all in one place and then just kind of see what, what I need to prioritize on that and also, you know, what, what am I going to talk about? So today I spent some focus time just working on one of those sermons and it's amazing what focus will do for you. Um, yeah, just unplugging from the internet and just plowing through and when you want to go check your phone, it's off. So there's one step between you and scrolling on Instagram or whatever. So that's something that I've really realized is good and important for me too, is just to make sure that I am fully focused to be fully effective. And that's a part of productivity as well. So the other thing about habits, man, is I, th <laughs> I think a lot of times we don't follow the habits of successful people, productive people, however you want to call them and we don't follow them to a T and then we give up way too early and then we're like, that habit doesn't work and it's like, well, maybe that habit works if you followed it exactly how they prescribed it and also if you didn't give up after two weeks. So that's something that I'm trying to, to really do and that's why I'm trying to just glean as much as I can through reading. So yeah, another tip that I have about reading is I, I struggle oftentimes to sit down and actually read a book. My mind just kind of races. I'm thinking about a billion different things. I find my best time to read is in the morning. There's just not a lot of distractions going on, so I can focus a little better there. And But yeah, listening to books has been something that's really, really been helpful for me. Listening at a higher speed as well just seems to keep my mind engaged. So I don't know if you guys have tried that or not. Um, I actually just got to deal with Audible since I'm going to be launching this into a podcast soon. So if you don't have an Audible account and want a 30-day free trial and a free book, you can go to audibletrial.com slash Baker, and you can get that free Audible book and free 30-day trial. So that's audibletrial.com slash Baker, and that will get you that free book. So that would be awesome if you're looking to increase your productivity and things like that. So comment, let me know what books you're reading right now or what 
book has most greatly impacted your mindset? I've been thinking a lot about mindset lately and what kind of thinking do I need to be doing to operating in the fullness that God has for me? Um, yeah, I really wanna improve my mindset and I think that I've been doing that and growing in that. But it's just interesting, I think about like police officers and people in the military that are in active combat, like they just have such a different mindset and that's something that they've trained for. And I think I'm attracted to that mindset just because it's like literal life and death, they have to get it done. Like there's no other option. I have to work extremely hard and push through extremely hard things because literally my life and the life of other people is on the line. And I'm glad that I don't have to face those, that huge responsibility right there. But I want to figure out where that grit lies in me so that I can really push through hard things. I wanna, I wanna grow in this area of self-discipline. So, and just thinking about mindset, what is a kingdom mindset? What was the Apostle Paul's mindset? I should read N.T. Wright's book about Paul to learn more about his mindset. But yeah, what is a what is a kingdom mindset? What was Jesus's mindset while he was on the earth? What what was going through his mind and why are we not thinking like he thinks in all things? And what you know, yeah, what that's the interesting thing about success too. Why are people in the world who are not Christians more successful than Christians are. And I'm not talking about just success in the terms of money, but just able to push through harder things, able to actually live by their values in a lot of different areas. So those are the things I'm thinking about. Let me know what you're thinking and what's affecting your mindset. What are some things that you've had to really change in your thinking that has been beneficial to you? And let me know some books that you're reading. Check out the blog if you want to see my morning routine, jimjessbaker.com. And follow us on Instagram at Jim Jess Baker. All right, I'm going to go hop in the ocean before I go clean construction offices. Thanks, guys. See ya.